Okay, guys, we're back. And I cleaned the first wrap of the book of the Captain Marvel Adventures. And here it is. So hopefully it came out better than I planned. It's always nice when it came out better. Now this right here, as you can see, the front and back is blending in with the other side. So it's hard to tell which is the front, which is the back. This is the back of the front cover. Not the front cover, the, the first page. So what I want to do now is I want to do the actual repairing of it. So the way I want to do it, since this is the front, this is the first page that you see, I want to flip it around and I want to apply the repairs on the reverse. But right there, as you can see, we have some rust infested paper. This is where the original staple, staple was. I'm going to get rid of that. There's no need to have that, in my opinion. It serves no legitimate purpose. And even though we're, we are not leaf casting it, we are going to do a, a, a repair where we are going to use Japanese mulberry paper and Tengojo paper. So let's get rid of that. And I used, as you can see, a little piece of blue tape to pick it up so we don't cause more damage using maybe metal tools. And look how nice it picked it up, everyone. So tape is always good to use to pick things up that you don't want. Let's get rid of that too. There's no need for that. That doesn't serve any legitimate purpose as well. Rust is not good, guys. Rust is not good in cars and paper. So it's not something that I like. So if I was going to leaf cast that, that would be perfect. Boom, right in, done. But we're not leaf casting it. We're going to use Japanese mulberry paper and Tengojo paper. Now, I just want to give it a little drying with the paper towels because I'm going to do the repair wet. I'm not going to do it dry. And I'm okay with doing it wet because you have to understand the adhesive that I'm using. I'm using methyl cellulose is essentially water and methyl cellulose powder. So what I want to do is I want to focus on this area. And the first thing that we're going to use is right here. Like I said before, is the paper, which is mulberry paper. So I'm not going to use a giant piece because I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a combination of mulberry and a combination of Tengojo paper. So I'm ripping it to make it frayed somewhat. This is not going to be completely frayed because it's not that type of paper. When I say completely frayed, it's, it's a little bit more solid than the Tengojo paper. And I'm going to use a bigger piece. I'm not going to use a little baby piece. But the key thing is I don't want to cover any of the graphics. And you want to rip it where it's in an odd shape where it's not a perfect a perfect square which is this the best no but it's not that bad so we put that down already and just with the water itself 
meaning having a wet page, it's sucked in. So what I wanna do next is I'm happy with that repair right there. So now what I wanna do is I wanna use the methyl cellulose. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna blend the methyl cellulose in with the Japanese mulberry paper. And as you can see right there, once the Japanese mulberry paper becomes wet with the methyl cellulose, look how it just disappears. And hopefully what will happen is this will turn very similar color with the newsprint when it dries. So right there, we filled it in and now we have some nice new paper to actually put our staple through. So in addition, because I am someone who likes to do something or something repairs a little bit stronger than most likely necessary, I'm gonna put a piece of Tengojo paper over the Japanese mulberry paper. So what I'm doing now is I'm ripping a piece and I like to make it where again, it looks like fiberglass matting or fiberglass sheets when you do repairs to Corvettes. And here it is. Here is the piece that I'm gonna put over because we're going to reinforce the Japanese mulberry paper. So I'm gonna then brush the methyl cellulose and this is all well and done when you do it when it's wet because I think the water and the water that's on the page and the water in the methyl cellulose will make everything gel together very nicely. And once it dries, it's going to make a very strong repair. So there you go, guys. That's it. Is it a lot easier than using leaf casting? It is. And we're going to see how this turns out because we may turn around and just do simple repairs with the mulberry paper. And maybe we'll do a different system instead of doing the leaf casting. I don't know. The key thing is, I don't know how CGC would deem this, whether they would deem it restoration or they would deem it conservation. Now, I've done this before in books that I submitted to CGC and they came back as being restored, I mean, not restored, conserved. So what I just did was I rubbed it in gently with the spoon, put some pressure into it, and that's it, guys. There's the repair. So we're gonna let this dry nicely. What I wanna do is I'm gonna do something now that I am going to reinforce the reverse side. So what I did here is we put a nice paper towel and we're gonna flip it around, ba ba boom. We flipped it around and now I'm just going to reinforce the reverse side. And you know what? I'm gonna reinforce it, why not? And I'm gonna use now for the reverse side, we're just gonna use a small piece of Ten Gojo paper. Let's do it. Why not? Is it gonna hurt? If we're doing it, we might as well make it strong. So I'm ripping the piece here of the Ten Gojo paper. And that looks pretty good. Are we looking for perfection? As close as possible to it. But let's make it a little thinner. 
Actually, I'm gonna do a very small piece right over where the staple was and we're gonna put it right here. And look how nice that blends in to the wet paper. And then what we're gonna do is we'll put a little methyl cellulose, which again, you can use wheat starch, but I like the methyl cellulose because I have it done. I don't feel like making methyl, I mean, uh, wheat paste. And this, in my opinion, works just as well. I think the wheat starch is a little more uh, better adhesive. It's a little stronger, but this will work fine for our purposes. So there you go, guys. We are reinforced. We are completed with this aspect of the first page. We want to make it nice and strong so we can put the book back together. It's nice and clean and we'll find out how it's going to look very shortly. And to be honest, what I'm going to do is I am going to, in this upload, we'll see how this turned out. So stay tuned and we'll see very shortly. Guys, we're back just quickly. I want to show again, when you dry the pages, if you do any process, you really have to make sure that you are putting it under weight with the paper towels. And people ask me, how long do you keep it? I keep it as long as it takes to dry flat, but you have to change the paper towels as frequently as possible. So we'll see how this turns out. We'll be back when it dries.